and welcome to today's video where we shall be discussing Green Shields Model 2. In our last video, we had discussed in detail the Green Shields Model where we developed some relationship between speed and density as well as flow and density. In today's video, we shall be solving an example to demonstrate the Green Shields Model. Example, given the following data on speed and density, and here's the data given to us. Question says, using the Green Shields model, you should determine A, the free flow speed, B, the jam density, C, the maximum flow rate, also called the capacity, and D, the density corresponding to a speed of 40 km per hour. To solve this problem, we are required to fit in a straight line you know, for this set of data. So we fit in a straight line y equal to b plus mx using linear regression. Where the parameters b and m can be obtained as follows. m is given by this formula and b is given by this formula y bar minus m x bar. Of course, where xi and yi are the samples and um, n is the number of samples then x bar and y bar are the means of the samples xi and um, yi respectively <clears throat> on a fitted line y equal to b plus mx y here denotes the speed while x denotes the density rho so that we can also write this as y rather as v equal to b plus m rho. Our job now is to determine the value of the values of m and b. The first thing we wish to calculate here are the means x bar and y bar. So x bar is equal to sigma xi over n. And from the table of values on the left here, we have that our sigma xi, the x i, sigma xi is 390, is 3 90 divide by n is 4 1 2 3 4 4 samples if we divide this we get 97.5 we now get also our y bar which is sigma yi over n and that gives us sigma yi is 85 which is 85 85 over 4 and this is 21.3 Having got x bar and y bar, we can now complete the table. So this is y, x, this column is for x i minus y bar, where, where x bar, sorry, x i minus x bar, where x bar is 97.5, and this is y i minus y bar, where y bar is 21.3, and then this is the product of x i y of these two columns, and of course this other column. So using x bar and y bar as these two values, this table can be completed. And of course, these are the respective sums of these columns. With this, we can now calculate the value of B and M. So M equal to negative 12947.7, this product, which is this, divided by this term, which is this. And this gives us minus 0 0.2. And um, the other one is B. B gives us Y bar minus MX bar. And Y bar is 21.3 minus our M is minus 0 0.2 and X bar is 97.5. If we evaluate this carefully, we get 40.8. So we now have the parameters of our, of our line obtained. So the fitted line to this data now becomes y equal to b is 40.8 plus m is minus 0 0.2 times x times x since y represents the speed and x represents what the density so our fitted line now becomes v equal to 40.8 minus 0 0.2 rho so it is this fitted line now that we shall use to compare with the green shields model and answer the questions that follow so 
To answer the questions that follow, we now compare our fitted line, equation 1, with what? The Green Shields model 2, as follows. VF, from here, comparing 1 and 2, VF is equal to what? 40.8. And then comparing this, you see that VF over rho jam is equal to what? 0 0.2. So, we've compared 1 and 2, and we have these parameters, you know, obtained. So, what's the first question? We are asked to determine the free flow speed. From this comparison of equation 1 and 2, it is obvious that the free flow speed, Vf, is what? 40.8 km per hour. B says, we should determine the jam density. We have that the free flow speed over the jam density is equal to what? 0 0.2. So we can make the jam density here the subject of the equation. And if we do that, so we have here Vf over jam density is equal to 0 0.2. So that if jam density now becomes 204. Since we are talking about density, 204 vehicles per what? Kilometer. The next question says we determine the maximum flow rate, also known as the capacity. In a previous video, we had established a relationship between the maximum flow rate and what? And um, jump density as well as speed. And we said that Q max, maximum flow rate is equal to what? Vf times jam density over 4. So that Vf, the free flow speed, which is 40.8, is equal to 40.8 times the jam density, which is what? 204 divided by what? 4. And this gives us 2080.8 flow, maximum flow rate. That becomes 2080.8 vehicles per what? Per hour. The last question says, you should determine the density corresponding to a speed of 40 km per hour. Our fitted line is V equal to 40.8 minus 0 0.2 times rho. I want to know what the density will be given a speed of 40 km per hour. So we substitute 40 into this linear you know, fitted line. So we have 40 equal 40.8 minus 0 0.2 times rho. So if we make rho the subject of the equation, we have that rho is equal to 4. So the density there becomes 4 vehicles per kilometer. So this implies that given a speed of 40 km per hour, the density on the road will be 4 vehicles per kilometer. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this channel. Thank you.